Welcome to Skip's Quick Tips. This video will take a look at exporting page bundles in Snapcore first. I'm going to tap the settings icon in the upper right, and then in the bottom tab bar, tap the page option, and select Import Export Pages from the panel on the left. We're going to do an export today, and choose for sharing from the options that are provided. Core words are automatically added to this list. You can tap on other page names to add them to the blue box to be included or tap the X's to delete them. There's also an option to select all or deselect all by tapping those options. And then finally at the top of the box is the search bar. So if you know the exact page name, you could also find it that way. Once you've selected the pages to include in the bundle, go ahead and tap next. It will present a screen where you can add information to the name as well as a description. I find it useful to include a date and the username if you're managing multiple student files. And then once you've got that information plugged into the boxes here, you just tap Next. The next dialog box will ask you to identify the email address for the other MyTobyDynavox user that you're sharing with. If you enter an address that isn't a registered user, an error message will be displayed. So we click the button to share, and it generates an email that is sent off automatically. We can then get out of editing mode and return to the main user page. On the user side, they'll get an email from Toby Dynavox that looks like this, and click to follow a link to the login page. They'll tap login, enter their credentials, and be presented with their home screen. Clicking on that orange notification tabs will let them see the email is there, and this is where they can choose to accept or refuse that page set. Once this is done, they can go into their app or software and import the page set that you shared.